right, beautiful souls. So now that we've been talking about light languages as part of a frequency and a channel, first let's talk about conscious channel. So everyone's a channel. I'm a channel. I'm a channel of God. So are you and the divine. And so is your loved ones. Ram Das is saying that is how the teachers can teach through you because you're both a student of the channels that come through that are from the teachers. Uh, so they're explaining it to me in detail. So a conscious channel allows you to fully integrate and have a deep soul knowing of the information that's coming through, through them, to you, for you. And when you move out in service to others, because some of you will be in the intuitive space, the same thing will happen for you. Uh, somebody in this class, you are a guide, more than one person in different contexts and in different niches, but you are very much, in fact, indeed spiritual guides. You have been accumulating massive wisdom over this lifetime through your experiences. And now we're just pulling in your past life abilities, skills, knowings, wisdoms, and activations to marry them together, right? Embodying, you are embodied in the flesh, the fullness of your soul. The fullness of your soul is becoming embodied in the flesh and it is a beautiful, exquisite thing. I'm literally seeing butterflies, stags. I'm seeing a turtle, uh, which is interesting. Um, I'm seeing a show called Tortega, Avatar. The entire universe is in celebration of you. Uh, it's very, very powerful. And just know that everything that you have done, every moment of your life, every breath that you have taken has not been in vain. It has touched consciousness in a way that you couldn't possibly understand. And all the work that you have done for yourself is rippling out into all of the people energetically. I want to weep. This is so beautiful. There is not a moment that the collective, the guardians have not been attending to you and to your spirit and to your journey. And anytime you've gone off path, just know that all of the detours, divine detours, they were not detours that you just took because you made a bad choice. There's a, there literally was a diamond in that pathway. There was a piece of you that you needed to call back. That's why you went on the detour. That's why you took those actions. That's why you engaged with those people. In another life, you're pulling back something precious that was lost in another life, but really nothing is ever lost as the universe. It's just your conscious pulling back of it in this particular lifetime. But it, the connection of it, they're showing me to uh, another life. There's something coming up in the 1950s for somebody. And for some reason, this is significant. You, That's a very, very specific message. So don't try and make that fit. That is not for everybody. That is definitely something that is very specific for somebody. You will know if it's yours. You'll feel the pinging in your soul. I'm seeing the deep knowing card. You will have very deep knowing if that message is for you. So when we're talking about uh, channeling and doing all of those things, the most beautiful messages can come through. That ties into the spheres of consciousness because you can literally channel different layers, facets, dimensions, realms, and spheres of consciousness. I'm hearing when you follow your own knowing because spirit's not telling you to go a different way. Spirit wants you to utilize your way because it is your path. And I'm hearing babe along with that. So use that, attune to that. Yes, God is talking to you. Yes, spirit is talking to you. Yes, the universe is orchestrating and divinely making everything, wanting to sort it all out for you. It's not just your past on loved ones that are doing that. It is also the entire universe applauding you, wanting you to create, wanting you to bring in that essence, that light, and just shine it all over the place. So that's a very clear message for somebody. I'm also being told you are in full control and the divine is in support of you being in full control and empowering you to know that you are in control and that you are powerful. I don't know why so much stuff is coming in about the moon and Pisces and planetary alignments and all that, all that stuff, but it is. So I trust that somebody on here is highly attuned to the moon cycles. Your energy naturally flows with them, which is a beautiful thing and follow that follow what you feel drawn to and it's Pisces which is um, a beautiful loving fish spirit the koi I see the koi with Pisces anyways 
So if you are channeling and you want, wish to dive into the spheres of consciousness, there's spheres of consciousness that are of high vibration and are light. There are spheres of consciousness that are low vibration and are very, very dark. There are spheres of consciousness and the energy in between the spheres of consciousness. It's like where one consciousness meets another. Some people transcend them and can view the different facets of the spheres of consciousness. I'm hearing the song, black hole sound, won't you come take away the pain? Black hole sun, critical message for somebody. So if this message resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. It is a co-creation and an energy exchange between us and your guides bring forth more information for you as we're moving through this mass awakening.